Good morning, everybody. It's the Snowbird Gardener here. I'm making some sprouts in my kitchen today, and I thought I'd show you. I'm taking a mason jar, and I'm cutting a piece of cloth a little bigger than the size of the jar. Then I'm going to put a rubber band around it, make sure it fits. Yep, it fits. It even looks cute. It may be too big, and I might have to cut it down a little bit, but for now, this is good. Remember back in the 70s when it was all the rage to sprout alfalfa sprouts and put them on your sandwiches and put them in your salads? <laughs> I remember that. They were good. And then you just didn't see them at the store anymore. You didn't see the seeds. So uh, anyway, but today I'm going to be sprouting lentils because that's what I have. So I've got about this much and I'm going to soak it. I'm going to sit them right here beside my orchid, and it gets a diffuse light here. That is an east window with uh, an awning over it, so I think that should be enough light. And then we'll, we'll see how they do. This is the fourth day of the lentil sprouts. Beginning to see a little bit of green in there. I brought them outside so we can see them even better in the sunshine. And I think within the next day or so, the seed coats will be falling off. And they'll be ready to eat. Hmm, they really kind of smell good already. Well, it's the fifth day of the lentil sprouts. Look, the leaves are coming out. Okay, it's the sixth day, and I think they're ready to eat. Look at those beautiful green leaves. I even took some of them out and planted them in my garden buckets where I had some room. So let me taste them, see how they are. So the part I don't want to eat is the seed coat. So this one, it's hanging off. Mmm, they're pretty good. I'm going to have some more. Mm, they have a milder, sweeter taste than the mung bean sprouts that you get, say, at the grocery store or at a restaurant. Mm, very good. Well, I'll see you again next time. Thank you for tuning in. Adios. Mwah. Jesus loves you. He's the exact image of the invisible God. Bye-bye.